beautiful day today. Quite windy, so we'll see what it's like in the pass. But lovely. All right, we're just rounding the corner here so we can see the pass. And I'm expecting a bit of wind, although I don't see any on the water. But I did see a lot of white caps coming across the bridge. And there was wind coming from the west, southwest. So, right now, nothing. I actually find that kind of surprising. It's a low tidal exchange day today. Might be a good day for poking around more on the rock walls, the pass itself. I want to see if we can find some of those big barnacle fields. Especially in front of us is a kingfisher. Let's see how close we can get. I'm looking right at him. He just pooped. <laughs> See him? There he goes. There he goes. Lovely. Oh. Look at that. He's coming back. Chattering like crazy. Does not like us here. Let's see what he does when we get underneath him. Oh, there he goes. But he doesn't want to give up this territory. He keeps circling around. Oops. All right. That wasn't what I wanted to do. I want to take a look at this log here because it's interesting. That see on it there are, are not just the barnacles but quite a few mussels which as we saw yesterday were pretty much lacking from the rock walls so I don't know why they prefer this log to the rock unless for some reason it's less predated with starfish I don't know but there they are quite a few black muscle and then that brownish muscle which I don't know what that is all right and you see up ahead of us we're in an eddy and we're about ready to round the corner that opens up into deception pass and you can see the white caps in wind and current well, maybe I'll just keep the camera on in case there's any drama going around this corner I don't think so Right, definitely the wind. Let's see what we're gonna see here. Yeah, this is a different environment. Ugh. There we go. <laughs> right out to the Rosario Straits. And that's Deception Pass. Look at this. Compare this to yesterday. And this isn't even that much wind. Quite a bit of concentration of wind energy. A lot of wind waves. And my new kayak. It's reputed to be very bouncy in these kind of waves. So we'll see. Alright. Good call. Sign off for the second. Pass now, and the wind has really come up. Ah, it's hard to paddle. And you can see the waves sort of piling up on the shore, which we didn't see yesterday. And I think that's a function of the wind energy. That was a big gust. Relented. I wasn't trying to be dramatic. That was actually a big gust. I like this. The heave of the swell here 
from the uh, all that wind. Quite a bit of fetch there, of course. We're looking all the way across to the Olympus Peninsula, and here comes another gust. Really nice here. Beautiful. Oh, dramatic. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna go into the pass today. I'm by myself. If I'm with a friend, I would. You know, what the hell. Let's play it safe. poke around the edges. That's an interesting little thing right in front of us. See the little bouncy waves coming across some kind of eddy line. Oh, definitely putting a little effort into this. Always have to be careful when you're crossing into an eddy line or into different patterns of water. Yesterday we were kicked over unexpectedly. I don't want to hit today because rolling is a pain in the butt in this wind. Ugh. Ugh. I'm going the wrong way very fast. Let's see if I can get out of here. Well, that was unsuccessful. Well, man. We're heading back to calmer waters because I don't want to do that by myself. Whew. That was intense. Whew. Currents are wicked here. And that was a counter current, but so strong that I couldn't resist it for a while. Okay. Whew. All right. I wasn't planning on that. Whew. Let's go across. Well, here we are leaving Deception Pass behind us, and that's Canoe Pass. Now, my original idea was to go into Canoe Pass today, but after that experience, we're not going to do it. By yourself. Discretion is by far the better part of valor. And we're just going to stay up. Stand the wind, I hope. I'm going back to that rock wall. And we're going to see what we can see in terms of creatures. Obviously today is not the best day for tide pooling, but who knows, we're here. Now, paddling directly across the wind and the waves, and don't have my skag down. Just trying to see how the delphi behaves here. It's actually pretty solid here. I don't feel it wants to blow me around. Which is a little surprising. And, uh, sort of a shame. It's the last day. I'm not going to do canoe pass again. If I had somebody with me, I would. But, by myself, I'm pretty confident in my role, but this high wind makes it dicey. And, you know, worst came to worst here. I've got all the insulation and the right gear. I could swim to shore. 
visually, but who needs it? Stay safe. Now you can see the wind moving through those bonsais on the cliff face. mix of pine and uh, I should have looked up the tree and uh, looks like pine to me. And my drone, a few tough grasses. Beautiful sunny day though. Okay, there we come. Bit of a lee here. And we're just going to be pushed along pretty quick along these cliffs. But who knows, maybe we'll see something and the water's all royal. So, I'm not super hopeful. As you can see, it was quite a windy day and it was pretty much useless trying to tide pull along the cliff face. So I turned the boat around finally and headed back across the wind-driven strait to my put-in.